I'm meteorologist Alex O'Brien, and this is Taking Science by Storm at Home Edition. Today we're going to talk about the spinning sphere that we call Earth and how that spin affects the weather. Looking at the globe from satellites, we can see the swirling clouds in the atmosphere. In the northern hemisphere, low pressure systems spin counterclockwise. In the southern hemisphere, they spin clockwise. The reason they change in direction based on location and the reason they spin at all can be explained by the Coriolis effect. Definition. Coriolis effect. An apparent force relative to the Earth's surface that causes deflection of moving objects. Let's illustrate what this means. Our Earth is spinning around its axis at a constant rate, but because we are a sphere, points at the equator are spinning faster than points at the poles. Say you had superpowers and you could throw a ball from Colorado to Montana. If you threw it straight north, it would actually end up further east, say in Minnesota. Colorado is closer to the equator and moving faster around Earth's axis than Montana. So when you throw the ball, it appears to curve to the right as that momentum is conserved as the Earth rotates beneath. The opposite happens in the southern hemisphere. The Coriolis effect curves objects to the left. Experiment time. Grab a bowl of water, food coloring, and a lazy Susan. Oh, and keep an eye on the cat while you get your supplies. So spin the bowl of water and add a couple drops of food coloring. Then stop the bowl and observe the spinning motion of the water. You can see little eddies and swirls. You can try this with multiple colors as well. Think of the bowl of water like you're looking down at the earth from the North Pole. Notice how the center spins slower than the outside. This is similar to how the equator moves faster than the poles as the earth spins around its axis. And while the Coriolis force is only apparent on a large scale, this experiment does help illustrate the spinning motion in our atmosphere. So let's apply the Coriolis force to a hurricane. A hurricane has an eye of low pressure at the center. Air on the outside will move towards the center of the low to equalize the pressure. But because of the Coriolis effect, in the northern hemisphere, the air will deflect to the right. That creates a counterclockwise circulation. Hurricanes or low pressure systems spin clockwise in the southern hemisphere. The Coriolis effect is the reason why flight paths are slightly curved and it has an influence on surface ocean currents. That's all for this episode of Taking Science by Storm. I'm meteorologist Alex O'Brien with News 5. See you next time.